Okay, what is up guys? It's me Sean here. You're watching Jobs Advisor channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about this topic. How to join Qatar Airways while living in Doha in Qatar. This is very important, okay? And you will join Qatar Airways just like this. And quicker than others, better than others. And you will have more opportunities. You will have a fast recruitment process. So just watch this video till the end. I'm not greedy about the views. I just want you to understand every single thing. These are the jobs videos. I'm not giving you any jokes. I'm talking about the facts. I'm talking about the career. Guys, just understand. You need to watch every single video for on my channel. I'm giving you the all details. I'm not charging you. I'm not asking you to pay me money. Anyway, forget about this thing. I will not waste your time. Let's get back to the video. Guys, first of all, I want to mention these things that I already made these videos. If you want to watch any of these videos, Emirates Airline, Criminal Process, and blah, blah, blah. You can just go ahead, visit my channel and watch these videos. <clears throat> Give me one second. It's cook. Anyway. <sighs> I'm losing my confidence. I have no idea. Why? So how to join Qatar Airways while living in Doha? If you're working in any company in Qatar, definitely that's why you're living in Qatar. Now you are willing to apply in Qatar. I will make this video very quick. No need to waste your time. Now imagine if you are willing to apply in Qatar Airways. You will make account. You will apply on any position on the website. Don't apply on any unofficial website. They will charge you. If anyone asking you to pay money, don't even pay a single penny. Qatar Airways will never charge you. Don't even pay any agents, any tra travel agencies or any agent from the recruitment recruitment agencies or blah 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 okay apply on official website don't apply on another external sites carriers.qatarairways this is the link okay always remember carriers.qatarairways.com okay qatarairways.com these are the links official link if someone asking you to apply on other website that is fake okay don't apply Qatar Airways always uh, publish their videos uh, and every single update and the carriers and the positions on this uh, link. This is the link. Okay, you will visit this link and you apply. Now, when you will apply, they will give you the status. If you want to know uh, what are the application status, meaning go ahead, visit my YouTube channel and you will type. Even you can see that is a popular video on my YouTube channel, on this channel. I have two YouTube channels anyway. So on this on the in this channel, you will watch the video regarding the status. I made a lot of more videos about Qatar Airways. There are so many videos. Go ahead and click on the playlist. You will say a Qatar Airways playlist. Click on that one and you will you will see the whole list there. You just want to watch any video, you can just go ahead and just click there and select your favorite video and watch. So I will give you the quick video. So I will not talk about any other things which I made already on my, uh, in my previous videos. Okay. Now the company will see that you have mentioned when when you will applying on the positions, you need to mention that you are living in Doha. You are currently in Doha. You are not outside the uh, country. So when the company will realize that you are already in Qatar, they will hire you just like this. So they'll give you a quick interview on the Sonro app and then they will ask you to come. Uh, maybe they will not ask you to come uh, visit the Sonro app or they will not ask you to uh, take the interview WebEx or, or live interview. Or in some situation, they will ask you to do a Sonro app interview. Okay. Maybe you will not understand. There are some cases. Okay. I don't want to write now. If you want to apply in this company, they will ask you to do a Sonru app interview. After the Sonru app interview, they will ask you to visit the Tower 3, Tower 2, Tower 1. Tower 1 is specifically, uh, uh, especially for the uh, cabin crew. But if you are applying in different positions, okay, uh, they will ask you to visit the Qatar Duty Free Department. If you are applying in Qatar Duty Free, which is in the Tower 3. And Tower 2, if you are applying in Customer Service Agent, they will ask you to visit that uh, Tower 2 anyway. So these are the things and they will ask you to do a live interview face to face live visit the tower and they will conduct a live interview with you after the Sonro app interview. Maybe they will not ask you to do a Sonro app interview or even they will ask you to come and visit us at the tower 3, tower 2, tower 1 and give us the live interview or they will hire you just quickly. 
they will see your experience and they will ask you to provide us NOC from your previous company if they are hiring you. And when you will apply, the status will be resume acknowledged, then uh, it is the HM review or under considerations. After this thing, they will ask you so do I have interview, video live interview, and there are all the status. You can go ahead and watch my video. After this status, if you are hired, if they are going to hire you, they will ask you to submit the documents and after these things, then there's the last very important step. They will ask you to please provide us the NOC from your company. If you are a new in the company in Qatar, you cannot apply because the NOC from the company which you are currently working right now, they will not provide you the NOC for your job. Because you are new, if you are going to move quickly from your company A to company B, they will not provide you NSC. Yes, you are allowed to move, but they will ask you to visit back your country, uh, terminate this uh, contract, go back to your country, and then you can apply in Qatar Airways. Who knows, Qatar Airways hire you or not. So don't take a risk. Just stay there in the company for one or two years, and after two years, complete in two years, apply. Or if you are, uh, if you have already done uh, two years or three or four years experience, more than two years, which I recommend, after one year you can apply. Okay, apply in Qatar Airways, and then they will ask you to submit in all, all these things. Then they will ask you to provide NOC. Ask your company provide me the NOC and the leaving letter, leaving letter, leaving letter, or exit a permit from your country or no objection letter, whatever they name it. Okay. Just ask the company and they will make a letter for you and you can provide this letter to Qatar Airways and then they will process the visa for you. That is so simple. Okay. That is so simple. They will hire you quickly. I mean, you can say quicker than Pakistani people or a person who is living outside the Qatar. I will make this line clearly. They will prefer you. They will select you. And they will uh, hire you quicker than other people who are living in other countries. Okay. <coughs> I'm sick, by the way. I'm really sorry. So these are the things uh, which I'm mentioning right now. So please, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to cover all those things. And that was a quick video about this, how to join Qatar Airways while living in Qatar. Uh, that is very quick. In some situation, I will give some other ideas and some extra bonus questions and answers. What if they are hiring you and you are a new person? Yes, you cannot apply because the company will not give you anything. Question number one is done. Question number two. If I'm hired, should I visit my own country to make an exit or not? In Dubai, answer is that in Dubai, there is no more exit nowadays. I heard from a cousin. My cousin is working there in delivery company. He's Ahmed. His name is Ahmed and he's working there as a delivery boy. Okay. And he was working there and there's uh, one thing I want to mention here that he's a very nice person. I really love him. He's a very respectful guy. He told me that he is working in this company and getting nice salary. And also when the company was giving the uh, visa, he was on the visit visa. Okay. And then the company made a exit within the country, not outside the country. Maybe in Qatar also, there are some uh, procedures. They will not ask you to visit the country or any other airport to make an exit, maybe they will give you the visa in, within the company or within the country, okay? So these are the things I have mentioned uh, in this video. I hope you understand. I hope you get my point, what I'm trying to say, how you're going to apply, what are the process and everything, these things. For the medical, you need to do the medical again, okay? If you're a new person, it depends on the HR. Maybe they will not ask you to the medical. They will ask you to just do a quick check and just join the company and do some training and that's it. You are done and you are ready to go. So these are the things. If I miss anything, if I forgot to mention anything, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to mention this thing again. I would love to give you the answer in the comment section. Or you can join my Telegram group. So I will give you the answer there. So love you all. Take care. Wish you all the best. Bye-bye.